<laughs> Come on. Flawless victory. There we go. Flawless victory. <laughs> Get up, bitch. <laughs> I ain't through with you yet. Ah, oh, slut! <laughs> Thing that sucks about going back to Deadly Alliance after playing Armageddon and Deception is there's no breakers. So the computer will be hammering you and be like, Hey, what's going on? Where are my breakers? Still got it. Oh. Hey, look at the titties bubble when they're parpooning and pale go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Daily Alliance made a grand entrance for this stuff. The only thing that sucked is every character only had one fatality. Um, the stage fatalities, they couldn't get them finished in time, so they went in the game. This battle plan was awesome, I love it. You know, just that 3D around the world. See, these loading screens are so rich, I love them. I can't believe they never released those, man. Uh, that would have been awesome for Primo. They, they they could have promoted the whole game with just the screenshots, I reckon. Just the, I mean, just the loading screen. Uh, Simon's got the, the thumb strap. <laughs> I'm used to just seeing tan lines now. Bitch. <laughs> Flawless victory. Flawless victory. I was going to set this to one round and see if I could go through the whole game, but this won't let you set it to one round, so I probably won't beat the whole game in time. And we'll see how it goes. One thing that's annoying is that that uh, barrier around the arenas, that gets on my nerves so much, man. I'm so glad they ditched that interception. I hate the way the computer will hit you into it and it'll take damage or you'll back into it and you'll lose health. I'm like, what the fuck? An invisible barrier makes me lose health? I couldn't believe they implemented that. The arenas are too small anyway. And you always end up on the side. The you can, computer backs you in or something. You know? Like MK2 was good because it scrolled, but I wish there was some 2D games that, and it would keep scrolling, you know, it wasn't just you reach the end, so you can't get backed into a corner, and respect for them. Look at that, man! Cyrex's face! You know, other than MK Gold, that's the only place you'll see that. Why couldn't they release the loading screens? Why? Why? <laughs> Even the, uh, the loading screens in uh, MKDC Universe are awesome. They're so high res. I might make some inquiries if I get some. I don't think they'll give me that stuff though, because it's from in the game. It's not stuff they use to market it. So, although sometimes I get lucky, I got the Armageddon mugshot. I knew fans would go nuts for them. And it had every every cast. It had every character, so that was a must-have. Really stoked when we were able to release that for us. See, this is what, it's going to be a stage fatality. Um, for those of you who watched the NKIC documentary that's on the disc, they talk about the acid churning in these those Buddha statues. And uh, yeah. Maybe so it's going to be covered in acid that would be India. Take that, Kung Lao, you piece of shit. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. Scorpion. Sick. Whew. So in terms of differences between this and GameCube, there isn't... Honestly, I've played both and it's, it's really hard for me to um, distinguish differences just by looking at it. I mean, maybe if I went online and looked up technical specs, and obviously, you know, they both display Round graphics different, differently. I believe, 
PlayStation is a bit fuzzier. I uh, could be totally wrong. It could be just because I've, you know, I've got it on the HD TV here. Mm. Okay. A lot of you are probably going, why do you add that little hit, little sword hit on the end there? I'm sometimes able to connect that. Sometimes, not all the time. So it's just habit that I do that. Um, I'm noticing though, on PlayStation, it's a, it's a lot harder to do. I seem to be able to do that a lot better on GameCube. So maybe that's one difference. <laughs> I know one difference. It's got the Sony logo at the start. Ha! There we go. Nintendo one doesn't have that. So you guys watch that review just to find out that. <laughs> this one's got the Sony logo. The GameCube one didn't have that. <laughs> oh, piss off. Alright, that's it. Piss me off. I'm a master swordsman, bitch. There we go. Look at all that sauce. Oh. Fatality. All you did was talk about the loading screens. <laughs> I can already see the feedback. Why do a review when you don't talk about the game and you just talk about the loading screens? I hate your reviews. Your voice is annoying. <laughs> Why did you back out Suzanne? Suzanne's awesome, how dare you? <laughs> I gotta say, my experience with doing those render reviews is that DC Universe fans are the biggest bitches, man. And they get really nasty about it. You didn't talk about the render! You know? I'm just like, you know, you know, or they'll say, you know nothing about um, DC characters. No shit! That's why I do the render review. Because I don't know anything about it. You know? And I'm just talking about things from my perspective. Like, uh, oh, okay, there's this guy Deathstroke and he's got a sword and a gun, you know? All I know is he's an assassin. I don't know anything else, you know? And uh, what I hope that he's like in the game. You know? I thought that would be interesting, but no. <laughs> why do you even do this review? You don't know anything about the game. You don't know that he's dead cool. You don't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the internet, man. Powerful stuff. Oh, I forgot! My break is... Oh! Oh, come on. I didn't even need that. Get over here! Yeah, I'm going to school pose instead. Ha! Scorpion's so cool. Oh, one of the cool things on the um, MK vs. DC Universe uh, Comic Con. Oh, hang on here. Hang on, I'll get back to that. Here we got Deadly Alliance mini game. Test your mind. It's back, baby. And it's just bamboo. <laughs> Why does Scorpion need to adjust his head to bamboo? I could break bamboo if I wanted to. <laughs> there we go. No, you couldn't. Bamboo's like one of the hardest woods in the world. Why do you talk so much shit? <laughs> oh. Jax is a fucking cheat, man. Look, those, ro those robotic arms. He could break anything with that. What a cheat. I hate Jax. Why do you hate Jax? Why did you bag out Jax in your video? How dare you? Come on, man. Finally, did. There we go. Get over here. There we go. One in the corner. 
controls. Remember what I gave MK uh, Deadly Alliance? I think I gave it a 9 on Cube. Everyone always replies and goes, You gave it a 10. <laughs> you gave it an 8. Why don't you remember? Oh, like, I could go back to the video and find out, but you know, I don't bother. I just do the video review and then try and remember. I just don't remember because, you know, the they're just about ratings. They're not set in concrete. I don't have a little notepad where I'm like, you know, I gave that 9, I gave that 10. <laughs> So I gave this 9, it's the same as the GameCube one pretty much, um, the only thing that's different is uh, it's a different system, so a different control, um, a lot of people had issue with the GameCube D-pad being a bit smaller, um, I know I had a bit of an issue with the analog, um, the analog buttons on GameCube because they sort of push in, whereas these sort of connect faster, so sometimes you got to do a combo and be like, clunky, be like, shh, shh, or a slight delay, you know, be a bit messy, um, so, you know, maybe it was a little bit easier to do the combos on PS2 and 360 for that reason, um, there's nothing else I can say, uh, Deadly Alliance is a great game, it was a great way to reinvent Mortal Kombat, and they did a great job in it, with it, a lot of MK fans say this is one of the best out of the last three, but, I still don't think they've topped Deception. Um, true, uh, some people don't like the online, they say it's glitchy and that. I mean, I don't play much online, to be honest, because um, I'm in Australia and I've got shit ping and it just, you know, there's not many Aussies to ever play against and it just sucks when you're out here, you know. Um, and to be honest, I'm not that good at MK Deadly Lights anyway. My, um, I'm the best at the older games, uh, the 2D MK is where my strong, where my strong suit is, so. Yeah, uh, thanks for watching another review, and I hope you enjoy seeing these in widescreen now. Um, I'm keeping the video raw on my new computer, which has got one terabyte of space, excellent. And uh, maybe I'll do a DVD one day or something, you know. Um, I don't know if I'll sell it or anything, but uh, it'll be, you know, I might even make it for download or make a torrent or something. So you guys can have, like, if you guys are real big fans and want real high quality stuff, you know. 
Anyway, I'm keeping the video file, so that's a possibility um, in the future. So thanks for watching, and the next one will be Deception on PS2. So I'll see you then.